David, David. What? Stop. Wake up, bitch. It's mitzvah day. So one of us has to win this election. Right. And the key to winning any election... Sound policy and positive public image. No, not even close. I'm talking about the green stuff. Land. Bad, Lunchkin. I'm talking about money. Filthy, dirty, well, usually unethically obtained money. <sighs> Leave it to the conservatives to make it all about money. Damn it, David. Tonight's not about party politics. It's about convincing a room full of people that you're a 13-year-old boy named Jared trying to collect bar mitzvah checks. But it's not really his bar mitzvah, is it? Do you know what's happening here, Lunchkin? No. We're gonna funnel my bar mitzvah cash right into our campaigns for register of deeds. Is that really the best way to fundraise? Lunchkin, can't you see? There's money in mitzvahs. All we need to do is find it. Now the only question is, who do we ask? Right, right. Let's talk major players here. The social elite of rural New Hampshire. Wait a second, Lunchkin, don't you know the mayor? I mean, yeah, he's kind of dating my mom. Wait, that's awesome. Make sure he's there. I mean, I'd rather not is kind of the reason my mom divorced my dad. Damn it, Lunchkin, don't make this about you. If we're gonna have a socially relevant bar mitzvah, the mayor's gotta be there. My god, he's the baddest cat in town. For the rest of the invites, I created a very exclusive Facebook event. Wait, you can't do that. People are gonna know it's you. That's why I created a fake profile. Why does this say Uncle Ricky? I'm gonna be your uncle. Why is my uncle throwing me a bar mitzvah? I can't be your dad. We're practically the same age and we look nothing alike. Okay, this is the creepiest profile I've ever seen. Your picture is just a stock photo of a Camaro. I wanted people to know I'm cool. The cover photo is also a Camaro. Well, what does the invite say? Are you free tonight? Do you have at least $30? Come see Jared get mitzvahed by his uncle Ricky. Please make checks payable to cash. Why is his uncle throwing the party, you ask? Good question. Jared's parents both died tragically in the womb. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so who's going to come to the shindig? Look at this, we already got two yeses and a maybe. Wait a second, Lunchkin, why are you a maybe? Well, I was actually kind of thinking I could leave before the party starts, so that's okay. Of course that's not okay, Lunchkin, we need you tonight. But my sister's getting married and I kind of want to... Unless you want us looking for a new secretary. N no, I'll be there! So Lunchkin's actually both our secretaries. Which can be confusing at times because, well, we're running for the same political office. And neither of us has any money. Mm, we don't pay him anything. So for now, we make do. Lunchkin, you're on snacks. David, publicity, I'll do the decorations. Ready? outside. No one has any idea what I'm doing. Put on my baseball glove and just look up. People say, what are you doing? What are you doing? The baseball I threw from the moon lands in my glove not three seconds later. Oh my Jesus Christ, you're cool. <laughs> not Jesus Christ. Just the mayor. Ah, uh, look who it is, the mitzvah boy. Excuse me a second. Where the hell were you guys? The party doesn't start till late. It's only 1.30. Yeah, 8 o'clock is rarely standard time. You're half an hour late. I'm... Pretty sure Jared is a grown man. Ah, relax. There's only three people here. Yeah, but not just any three people. These are three of the biggest names in town. Oh, yeah? First, we got Mayor Fantana. Four-term mayor, jazz banjo player, and general cool guy. Jesus Christ. And we got Sally Johnson, big wig local executive. Mm -hmm. Voted third through fifth in the Hanover 30 under 40. Lastly, but certainly not least, Brianna Bernstein, the bat mitzvah bitch. How old is she? Well, 14, but she has 900,000 Twitter followers and runs the very popular Brianna Bernstein's Bat Mitzvah Bitch Bat Mitzvah Blog. Watch this. Hey, 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 Brianna. Cool party, huh? It's bitchin'. That didn't seem genuine. Uh, what you typing? Nothing. Cool, cool, cool. You, uh, want, want a bagel? 
Ew, gluten. Cigarette? That's a, that's a no, huh? Okay. Yeah. Not very in touch with the kids, I guess. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Time for the ritual. Uncle Nephew, dirty dancing. Dude, what the hell are you doing? People are getting restless. We gotta give them some dirty dancing. I'm not doing the jump. What do you mean you're not doing the jump? You gotta give them what they want. I'm sure nobody wants this. What, are you gonna sabotage your own mitzvah? You're gonna do the jump. Fine, but you better catch me. Come on, when does Uncle Rick ever let you down? And then I said, Peruvian, not Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ricky, you're too much. You think I'm too much? You should meet my identical twin, Matt. You have an evil twin, too? No, he's, he's a great guy. He's running for Register of Deeds, you know. I'm sorry. Could you guys excuse us a moment? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uncle of the Bar Mitzvah Boy duties, you guys understand. And, uh, Sally, if you see little Jeremy, tell him Uncle Ricky said, ba ba booey What the hell was that? There's no campaigning in the mitzvah room. All right, fine, you got me. At the end of the day, only one of us is going to be the Register of Deeds. Not on my big day, Uncle Rick. You know, it'd be a shame for all those fine people out there to find out you don't really have a Camaro. <gasps> you bastard. Ah, everyone gather around in honor of David's. Jared's. Jared's big day. I had a banner especially made. So, Lunchkin, please. Without further ado, <laughs> you're gonna like this. Molotov, Jared. What's wrong? Go Nazis? What are you thinking? What are you talking about? This is boo Nazis. Like, it's a lowercase b. I'm against Nazis. Oh. Oh, yeah, I see that. No, that's not good. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, it is a good thing we nixed the glow job station. Glow job station? Well, you see what it said? Blow job station. And what would we have done with that? Huh? All right, all right, all right. Sorry, everyone. The, uh... The store must have uh, mixed up the banners. Listen, I didn't think I'd have to tell you to leave Nazis out of a bar mitzvah. All Nazis? No Nazis! No armbands, no leather boots, no nothing. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Good call. Well, I'm late for rehearsal with the Backstreet Boys. Gotta be going. Come on, guys. Why are you going so early? It's my big day. It ends when I say. Uh-oh. There's some of that teenage angst every uncle worries about. <laughs> Look, it is getting late. I guess so. Did you guys have fun? Best night of my life. Well, just like sweet Jared here, the night is nubile. Well, toggle nozzle. I don't want to toot my own horn, but that was a pretty fucking dope mitzvah. Yeah, you think they bought it? Who cares if they bought it? Did you have a good time? It was a night I'll never forget. Wait, how are you guys going to run for the Register of Deeds the mayor thinks you're a 13-year-old boy named Jared and you're his Uncle Ricky? It makes no sense. All right, see you guys. <laughs>